Okay, 7M2. Okay, here's what it says. Um, water is draining from a pool. After 5 minutes, the water holds 800 gallons. After 12 minutes of drain, the water holds 450 gallons of water. Calculate the average rate of change in gallons per minute of the water that the pool holds. You're going to make example 1 on every example. To find the rate of change, you make a table. You label it x, y, and you have minutes and gallons. So the time is always the x, minutes, and then gallons. Now, put the labels together. So 5 minutes and 800 gallons are in the same sentence, so that's what we're going to put here. Okay. Then 12 minutes and 450 gallons are in the same sentence, so they go together. Now, here's how you find a rate of change. You start at the bottom, you take 450 minus 800. Negative 350, that goes on top. Put the label gallons. Then 12 minus 5 is 7, 7 minutes. Just divide them and you have your answer. Make sure you label it correctly. Negative 50. So it'd be gallons. Now the bottom label we drop the S because it means gallons per minute. So you do on this. Example two. An internet service charges a one-time installation amount and a cost for each month. After five months of installation, a user will have paid two hundred twenty dollars, which includes the installation amount. After 10 months of installation, the user will have paid $370, which includes the installation amount. Find the average rate of change in cost per month. Rate of change, we're thinking table, X, Y. So we have months and money. X is months, Y is money. X is always time. Okay, so we know that 5 months was uh, $220. And we know that 10 months was $370. Okay, so I take 370 minus 220, that's 150. So put $150 with the label up there. 10 minus 5 is 5, 5 months. Divide, you got your answer. 150 divided by 5 is 30. And then it would be dollar sign and then month. Now, don't write this down, but that means if there was an 11th month, I would add 30 onto it, 400. 12th month, I'd add 30 again, okay? 13 month, 460. Don't write that crap. That's your answer. Okay, example three. TJ made $40 after 3 hours and $90 after working 8 hours. Okay, you're doing the same darn thing. Okay. Okay, so X, Y. So you have dollars and hours, so hours is X, dollars is Y. Okay, so $40, 3 hours. $90, 8 hours. So we take 90 minus 40, that's 50. 8 minus 3, that's 5. So it'd be $50 over a span of 5 hours. You divide them, that's $10 hour. $10 per hour. So that's it. If you worked a ninth hour, that'd go up 10. So 100, a tenth, that would go to 110, and so forth. Okay, example 4. You place 325 pieces of a puzzle after 15 minutes and 475 pieces on a puzzle after 30 minutes. So you got minutes and pieces. The time is the X, and then the pieces is your Y. So 325, 15, 475, 30. So I minus, that's going to be 150. I'm minus zero, I get 15. So remember, it's the Y over the X. So 150 over 15, put pieces, minutes. 
and to get your rate you divide them okay it's going to be 10 pieces minute drop the s on the bottom number okay you put the s on the top with the bottom 10 pieces per minute so if there's a 31st minute i'd have 485 if there's a 32nd minute i'd have 495 and so forth Okay, example four, or example five, excuse me. A paint can has 56 gallons of paint remaining after two days and 20 gallons remaining after five days. So X, Y, days is X, because time is X, and gallons is Y. So, we have 56 gallons, and that's with two days. Then, when we go five days, we have 20 gallons. Take 20 minus 56. It's a negative. That's because when it goes from 56 to 20, it goes down. Okay. 5 minus 2 is going to be 3. Okay, so negative 36 over 3 gallons in days. So I divide. I get negative 12. That's fine. Gallons day. That means it goes down 12 gallons every time the days go up. So after a sixth day, i take away 12 and down, be down to 8. And then the seventh day, it'd be out. Okay. Be in the negatives on the table, but in a real life scenario, it'd go up. Okay, example four. The altitude of a balloon is 590 feet after 30 days and 440 feet after 90 after 30 minutes and 440 feet after 90 minutes. Okay. So we have x, y, minutes, and feet. So 590, 30, 440, and 90. Okay, subtract those. 440 minus 590. Negative, that's fine, that's because it went down from here to here. 90 minus 30 is 60. Okay, so negative 1, it's got to be the y over the x. Negative 150 over 60. And then feet, minutes. So I divide. So negative 2.5 feet per minute. So that means in the 90 first, don't write this down. That's your answer. So then it would go down by 2.5. So before 37.5, and it kept, keeps going on and on and on until the corset gets to zero.